Hello everyone. Let's today we will discuss regarding SAP a reporting tool, okay, which is SAP Business Objects BU, or it is also known as Bob J. Okay, B O B J. Okay. So today we will discuss how to log in into BI Launchpad and what are the basics property okay and what are the new features okay in bio reporting tool we will see today so let's start okay so we have a this is the uh, server remote server access for BOBG. so i am going to log in into the system okay so remote desktop okay you have to give the ip address okay then user name and password so already we have given the username okay now you have to give the password okay so let's i'm going to connect with this server yeah so this is a complete a remote server access for bob j or bio reporting tool so in this we have a icon called a business objects okay for bi launchpad okay so this is a, a kind of tools okay bio which is uh, used for basically for reporting the data analyze the data okay it may be the data from a different source or my maybe it is a bw or ecc data so before going to analyze the data you need to pull the data or you have to connect the data sources with the source then you can create a report or display the report existing report based on the okay the data which is available in the source okay so let's start how we can log in into bi launchpad or bo reporting tool okay just double click this okay so now you can see here this is a link okay or website you can say local host okay 8080 uh, slash boe slash bi so this is the a link okay for login to bio launchpad okay now you can see this is a system server okay you have to give the system server name okay and username and i'm giving the password here now And once you give the detail, you have to click log on. Yes, now you can see. So this is the BI launchpad. Okay, we are successful login into the system. Okay, you can see here all the detail would be there, like the home tab left panel. You will have a mo most recent view documents. Okay, what are the document running? Or what are the field you will see here? or any alert or any kind of inbox okay in the right panel you will see applications okay so these are the bio applications okay like a report intelligence web intelligence you can see bi work of face you can see the crystal reports you will see information step forward okay analysis addition for all app okay and modules these are the okay uh, module or you can say application of business object okay you can see here username is given here and application in the application you will see so many applications are there okay which is here already we have seen here so all our applications under applications okay menu okay preference okay you can see this is the preference basically so if you click the preference okay you will see here general tab under general tab you will see the by default okay whatever the by default setting okay set by administrator you will see this is the okay administrator set okay these are the all you can see are disabled why because you we can't uh, do any changes because this is a uh, can change by the administrator only okay so if in case you are administrator you can do changes and whatever the changes you have done you have to save it before going to close this window okay next we have a local time zone okay you have to give here local time 
John or particular, okay, yeah, the local, whatever the time, like ISP, if you have some ISP, you can give the ISP. Okay. Next is analysis addition for all app. Okay. You can see here if you want to uh, see the data, okay, analysis for additions all app. So, according to this, you have to choose your default. Okay. You can see currently all the defaults are there, but if in case, if you have some enable or disable a particular uh, like uh, you can see the here okay you have to okay choose and make save and close then it will be reflected okay next we will have a web intelligence okay so this web intelligence you can set okay what are the properties see currently view you can see pdf view okay and whatever the modify or edit any uh, document related to web intelligence, okay, you have to open in HTML. If you want applet or desktop rich client windows, so you can choose as per your requirement. Okay, so currently here that is HTML. Okay, if in case any other setting you want like drill options, start drill sessions, so these are the options are available under web intelligence. So you can choose as per your requirement. Okay, now BI workspace. Okay, you can see here how you look like uh, your BI workspace. You can choose here as per your requirement. Okay, finally, we have a crystal reports. Okay, even you can set the property. Okay, and uh, layout and default view, which is required uh, as per your requirement, you can set here. Okay, so if it is done, you can save and come back. Okay, and close. Yes, you can see it is asking, okay, whatever you have some preference, you have changes, okay, if you click okay, it will reflect, so let's see, okay, so this is the way for preference, okay, next we have a help menu, if you want to check uh, help, you can click help, if you want to about property about the Bob J, you will see what are the uh, property, you can see the versions, okay, and everything you will see, see. 4.2, this is the BO versions and packet, this is 9, okay, the version you can see 14.2 something, okay, so all the property, okay, related to this Bob J or BO reporting tool or BI launchpad, you can see here under, we have an option called about, okay, if you want to log off, you can click here log off, so it will be log off from your BO reporting uh, BI launchpad tool. Okay, so these are the basic things. Okay, now we'll go into the next tab called a document. If you click this documents, you will see here so many uh, options are available. You can see, you will have, a, a, you can see my document. Okay, you can just, okay, you can see we have a my documents. Okay, under my document, you will have a my folder. Under my folder, if you click here, you will see so many folders are there. So this is basically a uh, my favorite. Okay, my favorite for local for this user ID. Okay, if you save any objects or any report under my favorite, it is local for this user. Okay, it is not global. So global that means no other user can access or view your reports. Okay, under which is save under my favorite. Okay, inbox, if you want to uh, set something, okay, uh, you can make some inbox, inbox okay. the reports, okay. So inbox, even you can set something, okay. So it will come under the, on your inbox mail. My alert, okay, if in case set any report or any alert, okay, that would be received, okay, by you, okay, the user, okay, which is uh, logging here. Subscribe alert if you have some subscription alert, okay, you can set it here, okay. Some personal category also is there. If you want to keep something, okay, report on personal category, you can save here, okay. So this is a my document, okay. Next to the alert, we have an option called folder, okay. So which is very important, this folder options, okay. So this is my folder. Under folder, we have a public folder. Okay, so whatever the reports you want to save, okay, which is public, so any user on this server can access your report if you want to keep any report under public folder. Okay, so you can see many uh, subfolders are created some by someone. 
okay even you can create it okay and keep your uh, reports okay under this folder then any user okay any user on this server can access okay so that's known this is a public folder okay next okay we have a category okay under category you will see uh, some kind of okay category is given here some role or some something okay you can create here based on the requirement okay and recycle bin if in case you have delete something role or reports or anything okay that would be come under recycling bin okay you can roll back later okay even next it is search if you want a uh, search any specific report or menu okay or any kind of uh, pdf or such reports you can search here so these are the basically options are available based on this you can use that okay apart from that if you have a multiple you can see pages okay you can use okay it will display all page by page because all the content will not display in single screen okay you will automatically the the report will convert it into the pages like okay so you can see one page two page three page are there okay so let's come into the folder here okay so okay so under folder you you can create your own okay let's see right click on the my folder you can create see folder options are there okay you can create here let's see my folder you can create okay my folder std anything you can create let's click create so so it is created okay if you can see somewhere in this okay it is created under somewhere if you can check somewhere it is created so it is created so uh, depend upon okay you can check later okay it is created so like this okay whatever the whenever you want to create anything it would be created okay so if you, if you want to refresh you can refresh here so if you refresh this one you can see if you go down whatever you have created somewhere you can see that one okay so you will see that okay so this is the way okay uh, you can uh, create anything like uh, okay on this you can if you double click of any let's say i'm going to audit okay folder and under uh, audit you will have one reports are available okay so like this okay you can uh, do some uh, analysis and so do something okay so more about this we will discuss uh, later or next sessions okay so thank you for watching this video okay please like and share and most important if you case any questions or uh, query please uh, comment uh, on the comment box okay we will definitely uh, answer your questions uh, okay thank you thank you so much for the attending this session